Many qualified interpreters have challenged the wipe Israel off the map translation of President Ahmadinejad's speech. The American scholar most cited as an authority on English translations of Arabic and Persian languages is Professor Juan Cole of the University of Michigan. According to Wikipedia Online Encyclopedia, Cole studied in Beirut as an undergraduate. He completed his master's in Islamic and Middle Eastern studies at American University in Cairo. After serving as an English newspaper interpreter in Beirut, Cole completed his doctorate degree in Islamic studies at the University of California. Cole was the editor of the International Journal of Middle Eastern Studies, has served in professional offices for the American Institute of Iranian Studies, and was elected president of the Middle East Studies Association of North America. Cole speaks a number of Middle Eastern tongues, including Arabic, Lebanese, Egyptian, Persian Farsi, Urdu, and Turkish. He married Shanin Malik in Pakistan. He's published numerous texts and journals on Islamic and Middle Eastern subjects and has translated to English many Arabic and Persian books. Cole has been cited by the press as a Middle East expert since 1990. On his award-winning blog site, Informed Comment, Cole provides a word-for-word -word English translation of President Ahmadinejad's controversial statement which was delivered in Persian Farsi at the World Without Zionism conference in 2005. Let's take a look. Here's Professor Cole's blog site, Informed Comment, located on the web at onecole.com. This blog is dated Wednesday, May 3rd, 2006. I'll scroll down to where Professor Cole provides a word-for-word -word translation for the controversial statement made by President Ahmadinejad at the World Without Zionism Conference of 2005. Here it is. Be aware Professor Cole includes, in parentheses, the actual words in Persian Farsi that were spoken by President Ahmadinejad. Also be aware the term Imam is a title representing Ayatollah Khomeini. Professor Cole writes, The phrase he then used as I read it is, quote, The Imam said that this regime occupying Jerusalem must vanish from the page of time, end quote. Professor Cole goes on to explain, Ahmadinejad was not making a threat, he was quoting a saying of Khomeini and urging that pro-Palestinian activists in Iran not give up hope that the occupation of Jerusalem was no more a continued inevitability than had been the hegemony of the Shah's government. Whatever this quotation from a decades-old speech of Khomeini may have meant, Ahmadinejad did not say that Israel must be wiped off the map with the implication that phrase has of Nazi-style extermination of a people. He said that the occupation regime over Jerusalem must be erased from the page of time. Again, Ariel Sharon erased the occupation regime over the Gaza from the page of time. Be aware, I, uh, Professor Cole is not speaking as an apologist for the president of Iran and Khomeini. Here he makes it very clear he's not one of their fans. He writes, I should again underline that I personally despise everything Ahmadinejad stands for, not to mention the odious Khomeini, who had personal friends of mine killed so thoroughly that we have never recovered their bodies. The regime occupying Jerusalem must vanish from the page of time. The word Israel was never spoken. The phrase, wipe off the map, was never spoken. I know many Americans who suggest the regime occupying Washington, D.C. must vanish from the page of time, and they certainly don't mean America should be wiped off the map. They mean the rule of Bush and Cheney must end permanently. The Iranian president merely referred to Ayatollah Khomeini's call for regime change in Jerusalem. Reporters and political pundits who claim President Ahmadinejad called for Israel to be wiped off the map are merely propaganda agents misleading the public. Furthermore, about 25,000 Jews live in Iran. They live in peace. Twenty synagogues operate in its capital, Tehran. Because the Jewish population is too small to win elections in any particular district, the Iranian government offers the Jews a seat in their parliament so their community will be represented. Christian Zionists have been raising money and offering Iranian Jews about $10,000 apiece to immigrate to Israel. According to the Jewish Daily Forward, most Iranian Jews prefer to remain in Iran. Here's the Jewish Daily Forward online, dated Wednesday, January 10, 2007. Headline, Iranian Jews reject outside calls to leave. Let's take a look at the lead. A campaign to convince Iran's 25,000 Jews to flee the country has stalled, with most opting to stay in their native homelands despite President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad's Holocaust denial and anti-Israeli speeches. 
If President Ahmadinejad wants to punish Jews, why hasn't he harmed or even expelled the Jews living in Iran? That concludes this News on News broadcast. I'm Ted Wansley from Special Assignment. Farewell.